Hey there, I'd like to welcome you to this free confidence video training, this very important training for you. So let me ask you a question. How would you like to discover how to beat social anxiety, become self-confident with people so you can be calm and relaxed in any kind of social situation to meet and connect with people anytime you want, any place you want, build great connections, better relationships, all to help you achieve the success and happiness that you want in life. Also, you can stop feeling so anxious and nervous around people all the time, lacking that confidence. So you can stop being socially awkward and absolutely killing your chances of meeting new people and building great relationships in your personal and professional life. Stop living in a world of constant self-doubt, frustration, loneliness, insecurity, right, lack of confidence in general, all that negative stuff. Stop that all of which prevents you from having the confidence and success in life that you truly want. And doing all of this without overwhelm and uncertainty, ineffective strategies, armchair advice from somebody who hasn't gone through it themselves, or hyped up hacks, you know, techniques and things that don't really work for the long term. So you're also going to discover how this confidence breakthrough system can help you feel calm, ready and confident for any social situation so you can succeed in life, be confident and successful at work, career, business, so you can move up, do more of what you like or love, and actually make more money, whether that's staying in the same career, moving up the ladder, or switching into a completely different field, or even starting your own business, whatever you like in the career, work, business field. Turn new people into friends to expand your social circles, your networks, to create long-lasting personal and professional relationships. Yeah, it's gonna help your professional life, but also so you can just enjoy those relationships, those social connections so much more. Expand even your dating and romantic life through social means and give you the skills you need to be confident, powerful, respected, and successful from now on in your life. And I'm also gonna show you exactly how you can handle shyness social anxiety, and your people problems for good, develop self-confidence and your social skills, not only to normal, but even higher levels than that and beyond to be super confident and successful. Meet hundreds of new people in under one year in your own town, your own city, and having uh, people like you a lot, want to connect with you, continue hanging out with you by doing what I did, eliminate uh, fear of uncertainty, rejection, and self-consciousness in all social situations, Build up your social network to further your success, uh, even doing your own get-togethers if you want to do that. You don't have to, but I'll show you how to do that if you want to know. And continue to snowball your confidence and social efforts with more and more ease to continue on the path of success, happiness, satisfaction, more confidence, all that stuff for years to come. And not only that, I'm going to be sharing with you the top four biggest mistakes that you are making that are holding you back from having the confidence and the success you want to live the life you've only dreamed of up until now. So who is this for? Why should you be here? Well, if you really want to stop living a life of anxiety, of shyness, of isolation and loneliness, and finally have a real, what I call a confidence crossover, this is for you. If you want to get out of the house, stop being stuck at home, maybe only going to and from work, uh, especially on the evenings and weekends, um, so you can have rich relationships, so you can actually have really good friendships for years to come. It's going to help you so much in your life. This is for you. If you want to quit living in so much negativity, insecurity, right, frustration, loneliness, all that stuff I mentioned before throughout your days and your nights, right, when you wake up in the morning, when you go to sleep, if you wake up in the middle of the night, having all this negative, hopeless type of existence of living, of thinking, and all this nasty fear, like anxiety, this is for you if you want to get rid of that and quit living in that. Uh, if you want to become much more outgoing, meet people anytime you want while not losing your introverted strengths, right? All those things that I believe in because I'm an introvert too and that I've overcome with this. So I'm outgoing. I'm a social introvert. I'm going to, this is for you if you want to learn how to do that. I'm going to teach you all the stuff how to do that, right? Uh, if you want to stop to worry, having to worry about if or when you'll finally become confident around people, and learn how to do this for good, this is for you. If you want to avoid getting sucked into more confidence and social hacks and tricky techniques, right, the one technique that's going to fix it all, that you know deep down is, is total BS, it's not really going to do it for you, this is for you. 
And if you want to step into the success that you truly want, that you truly deserve, including better connections, relationships, more money, doing work you love, new and better friendships, uh, even improving pre-existing ones that you have, and how that affects your dating and romance life too, this is for you. This training is absolutely for you. And I'm going to be teaching you some really powerful stuff in this, give you some really powerful examples, but results will vary. I will say that because it all depends on your willingness to apply this and take action. So who am I? Well, my name is David Hamilton. I was born in California. I grew up in Colorado, right? I had a highly anxious mother and a very shy and reserved dad. Loved my parents, right? Good parents, good to me, you know, but this is, this is the environment I grew up in, okay? So I picked up my shyness and social anxiety from the environment that I grew up in. Shyness, social anxiety, social awkwardness used to absolutely control and dominate my life. Um, I worked really hard to develop my confidence and social skills and get my power back and to really distill it and find the things that really, really worked for me that I now share with people all over the world. You know, and I never was the socially charismatic guy who could like introduce himself, walk up to people, connect with everyone and be instantly liked. And I learned how to do that. I cracked code on it. So I'm so excited to show you this here. And so I'm now a confidence coach and expert helping intelligent people to get power back for themselves, to get control from shyness and social anxiety and up level their confidence and social skills to have the lives that they truly want. So right now, let's talk about the top four biggest mistakes that keep you stuck in social anxiety and shyness and keep you out of social confidence and success in your life. You ready? Let's do it. Mistake number one is not sharing enough about yourself, right? Not opening up, not sharing about your world. This is so common and you've got to start doing more of this, right? Expressing yourself. That's why my site is called Social Expression. I realized how important it was for me to do that in order to connect with people and then get a sense of who I was, for them to feel at ease and relax, and they could open up to me as well. So if you're not doing this, you must start sharing a lot more about yourself. Look, all you have to do is start by sharing just a little bit about your day. Just start there. That's all you need to start with. And it grows from there, but if you're not sharing enough, you're making a big mistake in breaking through this and really connecting with people and being more socially confident. Okay. Mistake number two is being externally referenced instead of internally referenced. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is you're constantly seeking validation from people around you. You're constantly wondering what they think about you, right? You're being really self-conscious, looking for signs. Um, are they connecting? Are they responding to what you're saying, right? Instead of being internally referenced, having a strong, positive belief system, of knowing who you are, knowing that people know, like, and respect you, and letting that project out literally into your world. And that affects, right? People will respond to us with how we think about ourselves, how we believe about ourselves. And that's why when they see you, when you're like, you know, anxious and nervous, they're like, oh, something's up with that person. That person wants to be left alone. They don't know necessarily that you have social anxiety. I mean, someone like me that's been through it can tell pretty much, you know, anybody that I see, I'm like, oh, they're shy and socially anxious. I get it. I know what it's like to be there but they're just gonna feel something's off and they are literally responding to your internal referencing or lack thereof that you have about your confidence in yourself, your confidence around other people and uh, your confidence about yourself in the world in general, right? Lack of self-doubt and people don't doubt you if you believe in yourself, right? So again, mistake number two being externally referenced instead of internally referenced. Mistake number three, overthinking. Here we've got the guy with his head exploding. I've been there so many times, guys, and I know that you probably live here most of the time. You think, you think, you analyze, you ruminate, and all the self-conscious thinking. Now, sometimes, right, the feeling just comes up. It just, you, you feel like you're not thinking anything at all, but actually you are. You're subconsciously thinking, but it's too much of the wrong thinking as well. But it's all these cycles of overthinking. And especially when you're not even around people, when you're at home wondering, you know, how, how you could get out of this and you're ruminating, but you're ruminating on all the things that you aren't and all the negative things about yourself, which are all the wrong things you're focusing on. And it just creates a cycle of 
too much analytical thinking, which does you no good, right? You go searching for more blogs, more videos, more this, more that, which just gets you in this cycle and it really is painful, right? It's this painful existence of all this stuff living in your head, this trap, right? The social anxiety trap that you just can't seem to escape. So mistake three, overthinking. We've got to learn how to not think so much, how to overanalyze and just be in the moment, really be in the flow, in the social flow of things and and overcome this, right? Mistake number four is overemphasis on techniques and behavior. Look, I teach a lot of techniques and behavior, but here's the thing is that won't fix this. That's all secondary. I'm giving you the, the meat, the meat and potatoes here of what really works. And when you this mistake you make of overemphasizing, well if I just use this technique, David, or if I just use if I just act in this way and do this behavior without fixing your mind right? Your belief system, your thinking, the way that you think, then all this stuff falls away. Yeah, you can get some temporary results, but if you don't have that strong self-belief and that strong control of your state of mind, then all that stuff, it just doesn't work in the long run. Is this stuff important to, to a degree? Absolutely. But if you, I, I swear, I swear to you, if you have a strong self-belief and, and just have such control of how you see yourself and your thinking and thoughts and and how much you're doing and how much you're not, all this stuff. That's been my journey and all the people that I help. I know this stuff inside and out, guys, is that a lot of times the behavior takes care of itself. Not all the time. There's always corrections to be made and this and that. But see, when the correction is made, right, when you come from the right place of emphasizing on the right things, right, especially in the belief and the mind stuff, then what ends up happening is it's just a little correction and then you know it and you got it and that's it. But you don't have to like constantly focus on here's the behavior, right? Here's the way to start a conversation. Here's what I need to say exactly step by step to uh, continue a conversation, to make a connection, to build a relationship. Because the truth is, is being social and connecting with people is so much more about being in the moment, being in the flow. It's a really dynamic thing, right? There Although there are steps to help you along the way, when all this stuff happens best, it happens in a spontaneous way when you learn to be spontaneous. So that doesn't happen by always focusing on and overemphasizing techniques and behavior. So mistake number four, do not focus, overfocus, overemphasize techniques and behavior. And then of course, here's like your bonus mistake. There's one true mistake that you make if you do absolutely nothing, do nothing else about it. Or if you keep doing what you're doing, that's the same thing as doing nothing. So you need to do something different, right? Don't keep doing nothing different or do not doing nothing to change your situation. So I want to tell you uh, a story about a former client of mine named Chris. Uh, Chris came to me, was a sales professional that had trouble being intimidated by certain people, had a hard time connecting with them, including his potential customers. Uh, he wasn't dating the women he wanted to be dating and he had a lot of uh, self-doubt, especially in social situations and in act interactions in his pro sales career. So um, what happened? Well, he used what I taught him and I coached him on how to better connect with sales prospects and build relationships and on his confidence overall in uh, in any kind of social situation, but in particular, he wanted to really do better professionally. And he began to close more deals, increase his sales performance within weeks where he had to leverage to switch positions. Now, I know it's kind of crazy. You might be in a different career field. You might be uh, you might be a nurse. You might be in technology. You might be a construction worker. You might be in any field. But yes, salespeople struggle with this too, believe it or not. That's why I want to show you this example. So he became comfortable in himself, gained more confidence and social skills to improve his entire life. And he also had the ability to meet women out socially. He was having problems dating the kind of women he wanted through social means, right? So what do you want your life to look like? Not only in terms of how you want to feel calmer, more confident, right? Uh, but what you really want in terms of your friends, your social circles, how you want that to look for you uh, in your career, in your work life, in your dating life, all these things. What do you want your life to look like? So let's talk about the winning formula for having unstoppable confidence and unbeatable social skills to overcome your social anxiety and create the life that you want and you deserve. The first key here, the real secret is mind state control. You must have this. 
This means the ability to control your state of mind, change your beliefs, shift your thoughts, which all drive how you behave and the success that you get in life or you don't get. Now, here's the problem with your mind state control. It's really important to understand this. This includes that you don't have any control at all, first of all. You don't have any control. You haven't even worked on this. You don't even realize this, right? I get it. You don't realize it, but you don't have any control because of it. You think your personality is hardwired and that others just have it. They just have this mind state thing down and that's just how they are and it's just how you are and that's just how it is. That's just how it's wired. Uh, another is you're basing your confidence and abilities on how you feel and think that's reality because it's how you feel because it's your anxiety because you're like, well, I feel insecure. I feel this way or I feel, here's, here's the big one I hear a lot. I feel that I'm just the kind of person that can't start conversations or learn to be confident like you, David, or like Chris or like any of, you know, anybody that you've shown me that could do it or anybody out there that has done it. No, nope, I'm, it's how I feel. And that means it's reality. And that's not so. Okay. Uh, you're way too negative, right? ties into this as well. You just think that's how things are too. It's all negative, negative, negative. And you say because you say all these negative things and that's how you are, but you don't understand you are creating that and you're creating it in every single moment that you say it, think it, believe it. You have to shift that and get control of that guys. Okay. Uh, you don't understand that the brain itself can be rewired with via neuroplasticity, this is scientifically proven, and you deny it in the fact that, oh yeah, because you're so different, right? Your brain is hardwired, but other people's are neuroplastic, and of course yours can't be changed, right? Big problem, guys. Uh, you don't work on being, but only just doing, um, and don't integrate the changes, which means you don't integrate everything together and just how you are, and you just declare it and practice it to be how you are, and then you never have to worry about it again. Right, but again, this goes back to being too focused on that mistake I talked about, too focused on technique or behavior, and even too much focus on the thinking, right? Because if we do too much thinking, it goes into overthinking, right? So we've got to understand how mind state control works, get a hold of it on all these levels that I've talked about. So you must master mind state control. Okay, so let's talk about key number two, which is social skill set mastery. And this includes uh, being sufficient and capable to introduce yourself first and start conversations with people both new and familiar, okay? Uh, being able to maintain and direct these conversations, asking questions, sharing about yourself, vulnerability, listening. Those are the, some key skills, but other skills as well. Uh, the ability to connect emotionally or vibe well with other people via your social presence which includes body language too, and it goes beyond just the conversational piece. Do you have a good vibe? Can you be comfortable, uh, confident in yourself, relaxed, and just generally have a good warm vibe? And the ability to lead in different social contexts and social and professional environments, including organizing things and in invitation, meaning inviting people to things, um, to go on to this level where you're much more proactive if you want to really master this and be successful in your life and be really truly confident. Now, the problem with your social skill sets, of course, is you don't treat skill sets as something truly learnable. And so you don't even try to work at them. Uh, you just think, again, it's how you are. Same thing with the mind happens with the skill sets, right? The mind state, the skill sets. Uh, haven't paid attention to how you talk and the language you use in conversation, meaning um, you don't uh, pay attention to uh, the way you ask questions, the way you phrase things, are they positive or negative and are they engaging with people? Does it create a kind of magnetism conversationally or are you pushing people away right, with the language that you use? You haven't paid uh, attention to emotional connection or mood enough, both yours and theirs. So again, this ties into vibe. We go into a little deeper into talking about mood and your emotions and their emotions and knowing how to read those and also get control of your own, right? Uh, you haven't even considered how you can bring value to people through conversation, connection, invitation, meaning you are trying to get things, you're trying to like control things and make them happen. And that's not what I mean, especially when I talk about things like leading the conversation, directing it and leading people, right? You're not coming from a place of bringing value and giving and that you, even when you walk in the room, you're giving value. Like when you have that in your mindset, that makes you show up differently and then you 
and then in your behaviors and your conversational behaviors, your emotional connection behaviors, all these things, leadership, if you take it to the leadership level more, which I suggest everyone do, um, if you don't, if you don't have come from a place that you're going to be giving and giving value, um, then this really won't work in the long run, mainly because you won't enjoy it. <laughs> you're always trying to get tit for tat. And when you try to do that, um, then, then you're always thinking about, well, what can I get if I give instead of giving and then receiving back? Okay. What will naturally come back if you come from a giving value bringing kind of mindset. So before I move on to key number three, I want to talk to you about some of the results I've personally achieved using the confidence breakthrough system, right? You heard about Chris, somebody that I've worked with, and I want to tell you what I've done and how I, this is, I use this stuff too to this day, absolutely. And so first, I want to talk to you about how I met 200 plus people in less than a year and how I applied this. And you know what I did is, is once I had my first real true confidence crossover, I moved to a new town, I moved to the city of Denver, and I made a decision. I made a decision that I wanted to meet as many people as I could and give value and bring value to people and really help them and help connecting them. And I did that through business networking. And this is how I achieved this. And what ended up happening was I immediately went in there, started meeting people, and I just showed up with a good vibe. I showed up. Um, trying to help people. And then somebody invited me and said, Hey, I really like what you're doing. Will you host one of my networking events? I was like, yeah, I'd love to do that. So then that put me in a leadership position naturally. And of course, because I had the confidence and social skills to not only meet and connect people, but to lead, I was a natural fit for it. Then I went to a entrepreneurs club that I really uh, liked when I showed up for it. And I, I immediately befriended the president of the club. And I said, Hey, let's get together. Let's do like this happy hour. Just get people there, you know, other, other business owners and, and family and friends of them. So we did that. And I met a ton of people through that. And this was it within just like a couple months of moving to uh, the town now in which I live, which is Denver, Colorado. And what ended up happening is uh, I got to know tons of people. And then when he, he left, I became good buddies with him. He had to leave. And then they nominated me as president for the club because I was such a giver and such a connector and had the ability to uh, be confident like this with people that I was the president of that club for a year. And I met even more people and was in leadership position and got more respect and more success and all that kind of stuff. And so I applied this by getting, getting my mind state under control, right? Getting my mind state control together, practicing, having all my skill sets practiced, and I continued practicing them and sharpening them by applying this everywhere I went. And, and that was exactly what I did to, uh, meet these people. And it, to this day, I still know a lot of these people and I continue to meet more people um, because I continue to use these skills, meet new people through them, introduce them to new people, so on and so forth, right? And a lot of these friends became good are good personal friends of mine. Even though I went through a business context, I made a ton of really awesome lifelong friends that I hang out with all the time. Friends like my friend Dave, who was the guy who I mentioned who I befriended, who was president of the Entrepreneurs Club that I eventually became president of. Uh, other people that I invited to that club that be, have become my friends. My friend Brett, she's an awesome photographer, very talented photographer. Uh, my friend Tara, who owns a company for employee benefits. And not to mention people that aren't just business people like my friend JR, who I met through people, right? Because these social networks extend outward to I met through other entrepreneurial friends like my friend Paul, who owns his own cell, cell phone uh, tower company. And I met JR, who does mental health for college students, right? All kinds of friends, men and women both. And I'm still friends and hang out. We go out for drinks. Or we go do hikes or go grab dinner, all these things. And I continue to, you know, strengthen my relationships with them, hang out and meet new people, all because I put myself out there, applied what I'm teaching you here today. And all of course, because I learned to overcome, to handle my social anxiety, to become the confident and successful guy that I wanted to be using exactly what I'm teaching you here with the confidence breakthrough system. Now, the other thing that I had learned to do uh, and empowered me to do by uh, implementing these keys in the Confidence Breakthrough System is hosting events, events and get-togethers of about 50 people, uh, including birthday parties, house parties, things like that. 
And really, it's not much different, guys, whether it's purely social or professional. Um, there are some subtle differences, but for the most part, it's all about being confident and connecting with people. And when you are in control of yourself and your confidence and your skills, you could do anything with this. So I would regularly uh, have happy hours, love doing happy hours, have some house parties, and of course my birthday party, stuff like that. Uh, when that comes around, invite people and reg regularly get 50 people, 40 people, 30 people, 60 people showing up to, to these things. And that's by using the skills, uh, connecting with people, right, conversationally, knowing what I'm doing in conversation, and also being a leader that just has all these benefits that people are drawn to you, people come to you, and you can do it too. I'm telling you, I'm nothing special. Believe me, I'm nothing special. I'm just an average guy, and my clients are average, regular people too, uh, that are able to do awesome things with their lives because they are able to learn self-confidence and learn social skill set mastery. All right, so here we are at the third key, guys, which is persistent practice. So what does this mean, persistent practice? Quite simply, practicing on a consistent and, yes, daily basis to become confident and socially proficient both at home and out in the real world in a supportive and progressive way. And what I mean by that is you have to do the right practices at home and also out in the world. It's not just out in the world, okay? Have to do the right stuff got to work on the mind state control at home and out in the real world. Yes, we can practice some skill set stuff at home, but especially out in the real world in a supportive and progressive way and in the right way. And so here's the problem with your practice, I guarantee you, is that one, you don't have one at first of all. You don't have a practice that's consistent, persistent, actionable. And again, you see everything as just how you are instead of actually that you are a set of human practices. You are not a personality but you're actually more like a practice. Yes, you have a personality. Yes, we have certain things, but there's so much that's changeable and reconfigurable and rewireable that you don't realize it, and so you don't practice anything different, okay? Uh, you aren't practicing the right information and methods that actually deliver solid, consistent, real results in building confidence and social success and actually calming you down relaxing you and being what I like to call in a relaxed and ready state because you don't want to be too relaxed because then that that makes us a little too checked out. We want to be relaxed and ready. And if you aren't practicing the right information and methods, my friends, it's going to be very difficult for you. You don't see immediate results, so you give up too soon. You simply haven't been persistent at all. Or maybe you have for a little while and we're kind of and then you just said, well, screw it. And you could have been close to a breakthrough uh, and, and then it didn't happen. Or you could have been practicing again, like the second point here, the wrong stuff. So maybe it was good of you to stop and give up because you were, on, you know, you weren't on the right path with that. And then lastly, the problem with your practice is you develop information addiction instead of actually taking more action, practicing the right things, and you just want to read more. You just want to stuff more information in your head, and you know that gets you usually into the one of those mistakes I talked about, which is overthinking all the time. Okay, so here's why the confidence breakthrough system works so well if you are really struggling with this or really, really stuck. One, it's completely customizable to your shyness, social anxiety, lack of confidence, lack of social skills, too much social awkwardness type of situation, right? Uh, number two, you can start wherever you are at and you can ease into it or ramp it up quickly, as quick as you would like to. And I do encourage people to go fast because we can usually go faster than we think. Uh, it's built around proven methods and been tested for results by me and gets consistent results for people that I work with that use it. And the more you practice, the more effortless it becomes, the more it becomes integrated into who you are and it just becomes so easy to start conversations, to connect with people, and to easily build relationships that you want in all areas of your life, at work, professionally, just having the friends, even better connections with family members. People get benefits out of that, right? And of course, in the dating life too, if that's what you want, dating relationships, romantic relationships. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Since when does working with the wrong information doing what does not currently work for you or doing nothing different to change your situation, bring you the confidence and the success that you desire and the life that you want. How's that going to work? Well, here's how to crack the code of this. 
Option one, you can do it the hard way, trying to figure it out on your own, spend forever trying to decode it, and possibly never ever get it by working this out on your own. When you don't know what you're doing, you don't know the right information, you don't know how to support yourself in being persistent in your practice and applying all this stuff, right? Getting your mindset under control, getting your skill sets worked out. Or option two is to get the code from somebody who already has it. So how can you start getting real achievable results in your life given your situation? Well, option one, you can get more stuff, i.e. eBooks, courses, videos, watch more videos, go to more blogs, forums, whatever, going into more information overwhelm and possibly with information that isn't even right or actually work and waste more time and energy trying to figure it all out alone or option two is you can apply for a complimentary confidence breakthrough session directly with me where I will personally teach you exactly how the system works, the confidence breakthrough system, help you figure out why you are not succeeding and then show you how I can help you on a virtually constant basis to achieve your breakthroughs, to have the confidence and the life that you want. And this call is truly all about helping you fix your situation and move forward powerfully in your life the way that you want to. Maybe in the last five minutes or so, we can talk about what it looks like to work together, but only if I think it's a fit and we both think it's a fit to do so. Because look, I could have done a lot of things in life and of course I help people with this and I offer this up complimentary to really help people move forward. I could have been a stockbroker, I could have stayed in IT like the career I used to work in. I could have done a lot of things, but I'm so passionate about this because it worked for me and I know others like you need help with it. So that's why I offer these up complimentary. And again, only in the last few minutes, if it's a fit, and if I truly think it's a fit, might I, may I invite you into one of my programs. But that doesn't matter until we know what's wrong. We know step by step what to fix for you and how you can move forward to fix it because that's the most important thing. So how do you do that? How do you apply and get a confidence breakthrough session with me? Well, here's how the process works. It's simple, just two steps. Step one, simply apply for the session below. Click on the link or button that's below this training video. And step two, we do the breakthrough session to get a customized step-by-step -step plan for you together and help you move forward as powerfully and as quickly as possible so you no longer have to struggle with this, to suffer with this, so you can move forward into the confidence, having the social skills, success, the life that you want. You don't have to wait any longer. If you're willing to take action, take that step forward, apply for the session, and we get we get you on my calendar. It's really simple. You just fill out a few questions in the application, and then it takes you right to my calendar. You pick a time, and then we just jump on the phone and we do this. We fix this for you. So let me explain though who this is for because it is for some people and not for others. I wanna be really clear on this. So number one, you must really want to help yourself and to create the confidence and success you want both personally and professionally in your life. You really wanna succeed at this, okay? You wanna do what it takes. Two, you must be the kind of person that values their integrity and holds to their word, that will do what they say they're going to do when we get that step-by-step -step plan together for you, right? And three, you must be an action taker. You have to be willing to at least take, take this one tiny step forward to fill out the application, to get a time on my calendar so we can get together on the phone so I can help you and you can do this. So if that sounds like you, go ahead and book a session right now. And so I want to tell you who this is not for. Uh, this is not for you if you just want to have a nice conversation, shoot the breeze, pick my brain a little bit, and not actually move forward in a real tangible way to get real progress, real results, real success in your life. I'm sorry, this isn't for you. If you just want as much information as possible to cram into your head, to learn techniques that you'll probably never act on anyways, little quick fix things, this isn't for you. If you think you can do this overnight without putting in any real effort, to change yourself over time, though I will say it can happen much sooner than you probably think at this moment right now, given where you're stuck in your mentality, you don't have mindset control, no, you know, skill sets, you're not working on the right skill sets, you don't have a persistent practice. Look, I'm here to make it as easy as, as possible for you, but it still does require work and real effort to change yourself and it does take some time. And if you think it's gonna be a quick fix and you don't have to put in work and I'm gonna do the work for you, I'm sorry, this is not for you. Do not apply for this session. Okay, so here's what to do next. 
One, click on the button and fill out the application so I can get to know your situation better. Just answer a few questions so I can find out more about you. And the more you can put on there, the better. Um, it's going to help me set up uh, me on my end as your coach on the call for success for you. And two, you simply pick a time on my really convenient online calendar and we will jump on a call and help you fix this. So let me ask you, how much is it costing you not to take action on this, not to move forward? Wasting another year of your life getting no real results. We're not getting any younger, right? Especially if you've been struggling with this for five, 10, 15, 20 plus years, life is going by if you haven't noticed, right? And time's a wasting, so it's time to get on this if you really wanna fix this. Uh, it's costing you to live up to your full potential, to actually enjoy more of life. Look, don't you wanna be successful? That's why I got into this game. That's why I wanted to learn this for myself because I saw those people around me that were successful simply because they had better social skills than me. They were no smarter than me. In fact, I was often smarter than them. And I know so many of you are smarter than people that are more successful than you and it irritates you to no end, right? And it's frustrating, I get that. That's exactly why I went on this path and that's why I can help you with this. And then, of course, not being able to step into your dream life and live life on your terms. This is what it's costing you if you don't take action and move forward. Okay, so click on the button below to apply now for a confidence breakthrough session. Now, limited spots are available. There's only a certain amount of these that I have time for to help people out with each month. And so make sure to go ahead and jump on that to get your best shot at getting on my calendar, uh, fill out those questions in as much detail as you can to help me know your situation because I want to help you with this if you truly want to move forward. If you want to fix this, we're going to jump on the phone and we're gonna talk about where you're really stuck, what you're really struggling with, uh, what goals you have for yourself, what you really wanna achieve, and get a step-by-step -step plan together, again, to fix this, to move past this for yourself, if you really want this, so you can have the confidence, the social success, and the life success that you want, and I know that you deserve, and I know you can do this if you want to, okay? So go ahead and apply now, and I'll see you on the call.